Okay, I dialed in my Hall Effect sensors right down to the Nats ass and when I cross my firing line it's right where it's supposed to be uh, and everything's still working just fine. I epoxied the crap out of it so that everything would be sealed up and kind of hold it together so vibration doesn't kill it. Uh, the next step is the circuitry for each one of the coils to fire. Well the coils are original equipment and they're looking a little bit old and hanger, but they still work. To address the ignition issue, we have to have some kind of way to turn the coils on and off. I'm using what's called an IGBT uh, transistorized device. That's this guy right here. That's an IGBT. Uh, it handles a lot of volts well. In case you get spikes uh, from a coil, it doesn't kill it. And I just made a simple circuit here that when I push down, that's charging the coil. When I let up on it, fires. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, uh, the IGBT triggers off of a positive sense. So positive turns it on. And no positive turns it off. So I got a flip flop the circuit coming off of here because that's a ground. I have to turn the ground into a positive. I'll use a PNP transistor to do that. That'll be my next circuit to build. But I'll use this IGBT, which works just slicker than snot. Probably put a small heat sink on there. Say I've been messing around with this for a little bit and it's barely even warm. So it handles it quite well. And we'll see what happens from there.